Thinking of buying a home here in Florida? I have the top five questions that people ask me when they want to buy a home here in Florida. So welcome to Sarasota Florida Living, where we teach you everything Sarasota and the surrounding areas. I'm Dan Henson. I'm your local realtor here in Sarasota, Florida, covering most of the Southwest Florida area. Hey, today we have for you the five top questions that I get asked when people want to buy a home here in Florida. So we'll get right into this, and I think this information will be helpful. So stick around. So one of the questions I'm always asked is about the 321 buy down or buy downs. How can this relate to buying a home? How does it work with new construction and so forth? So we're going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the buy downs for the interest rate. When you're looking for a mortgage to purchase a home, there's all different programs. Some of the newer ones that come out or are just now coming out as popular as a 321 buy down. You see, hear it all the time. So what a 321 buy down is is about your interest rate. So say that your interest rate is 7%. With a 321 buy down, the first year you start your mortgage will be 3% less than that. So it'll be around 4%. The second year will be at 5%. The third year will be at 6%. And then the final years there forward will be 7%. So what this does, it helps you with their mortgage payment to start off right off the bat. So in the beginning, you got a little bit of relief, the payment's a little bit lower, and then it gradually goes up. So that's a plus. Now, the con to that is, is you're not quite sure the costs that come along with that. That cost is all paid up front when you do your closing. So you still have that cost in there, they're just distributing it out. So I'm no mortgage expert, but I'll leave a link in the video below so you can figure out a little more about this 321 buy down. This guy has a lot of great information about this process. Another question that comes up all the time when we're looking to buy in Florida is should I buy new construction or should I buy a resale? There's pros and cons to each one of these. So let's dive into a couple reasons why you would buy a new construction over a resale or vice versa. So let's start with new construction homes. This information comes from me working directly with about 30 to 40 clients over the past three to four years that we've closed in new construction. So these pros and cons are directly related to the experiences we've had. So what's wonderful about new construction, you're the first one in. You've kind of customized it yourself. You put those little touches on that you love and you made it your own. Another thing is, is you have a little bit better maintenance issues. You, with all new appliances, new AC, you know, all the other things going on, everything should be pretty well working for you and you should have low maintenance issues. And the final pro I have for you is right now the builders are often incredible incentives. Uh, that was not the case the past couple years, but right now they're buying closing costs, buying your points down, and giving you a couple of extras here and there. So there is some incentive out there for you now. So now let's get into some of the cons. And the biggest one I have from the experience we're going through right now is a very long wait time and there's problems with the building process. Uh, we are having a credibly difficult time right now with closing properties that have been waiting for two and a half years to close. Pre-pandemic, we had none of these issues. Time schedules worked out really well. But over the past couple years, we have really run into a situation where they've lost employees. The uh, construction manager changes uh, every three to four months. I have two projects that we've had our sixth construction manager working on right now. Um, sometimes they're trying to force you to close when the product's not done. So this is right here is where you definitely need an experienced realtor to help you through this process. And somebody has been through it like we have in our team, because I tell you, it is very frustrating. I have four clients who are now still waiting over two years to get their home closed. And, uh, that's something you really have to think about when we go into this process. So now getting into a resale home, pluses and minuses about getting into a resale home. What's nice about doing a resale home is everything's done now. You see what it is, you know what it is, you do your home inspection, everything's right out in front. So you can get into a home within 30 to 45 days, even faster if you're a cash, uh, and you just gotta pick the location you love. So another positive you have about buying a resale is you have a little more negotiation power. They're competing with builders right now, the builders are offering all kinds of incentives, and you just have a little more negotiation power to maybe ask for a little bit more. But you gotta be careful because there is low inventory, so if you love the location, you might wanna come right in with that full price offer. So a couple cons you have about buying resales, and one of the first things I can think of, it comes up quite a bit when we talk about it, is when you have an older roof on some of these projects, the insurance is a big issue, and we're gonna talk about insurance coming up real soon here. Another thing that could be considered a con 
is the older floor plans. Here in Florida, you'll want to be by the water. You want to have no deed restrictions and so forth. But you got older floor plans, older style homes to get that perfect location. So you might have to sacrifice certain things in order to get the location. Remember, all the pricing is based around you get the best price with the best condition and best location. As you look at your price point, you're going to have to realize what you might want to sacrifice, the location or condition of the property, to get the exact price you want on a home. So could be a con, but that is a big thing that comes up quite a bit where we love this home, location and everything, but it needs so much work. So now another major question that comes up that we always have to be concerned about when you're purchasing a home here in Florida is the insurance. Insurance has gone through the roof here in the past three to four years by 40%. So according to an NPR news article I have listed down below here, you can check out the article, but there's three main reasons why we have this increase. Uh, we have legislation in Tallahassee. We also have the rising building costs with, the with all the inflation going on. And we also have the climate with the past hurricanes we've had here and a lot of the damages. It's put a lot of insurance companies out of business. So these three factors have really caused the insurance to go up. And it's something you need to know about when you're looking to purchase a home here in Florida. So now we get into one of the most asked questions when people are moving to Florida. And that's about HOA communities, homeowners association communities. Most people moving to Florida have not dealt with HOA communities. There are a lot of restrictions that people are not used to. So you really have to adjust to see if you're comfortable with somebody commanding the way you paint your house, what cars you can park in the driveway, um, how, how you keep the lawn maintenance up. So some of those are the factors that people are just not used to. But I have to say that does hold up the home values. And when you're looking for a nice property to hold that home value, HOAs really do help. But again, it is a big concern for most people because they're not used to it. If they want to raise chickens or they want to do other things that are outside the deed restrictions, you won't be able to do it. So it's important for you to check out what you can and can't do with those HOA communities. And our final question we have all the time is about the wildlife. You would be surprised how many people are concerned about the wildlife. Because there's so many ponds here and all the new communities, that, you know, a lot of people are concerned about alligators, snakes, bobcats, panthers, and so forth. So just like everywhere else in the U.S., the nature has been here before we were, and we have to pay attention. But yes, there is alligators in fresh water, and sometimes we've even seen them venture out to the beach. So you must be aware of what's going on, but they're pretty much harmless as long as you stay out of their way. They were here first. You need to let them kind of run their course. But the nature is beautiful here. As long as you respect it, you'll have no problem living with the wildlife here in Florida. So thanks for watching, and if I can help you in any way, just give me that call, shoot me that text, or shoot me that email, and I'll be there for you. Hey, have a great day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful year. Thank you so much.